KUAM News Headlines is presented by Calvo's Insurance, serving Guam for 80 years. Matson Navigation, serving Guam and Micronesia for 20 years. The all-new 2018 Kona by Hyundai, available at Cars Plus. IP&E, fueling excellence. McDonald's of Guam, I'm loving it. And King's Restaurant, located in Tamuning and Dededo. Always open, always local. Coming up on your primetime news, a drug raid at an apartment in the Harmon Industrial Park ends with two people under arrest. Plus, after weeks of special session, senators pass a measure that hopes to put an end to the government's financial crisis. And we're going to bring you an update to a five-year-old court case when authorities raided the Wise Owl Animal Clinic over in Tamuni. Half a day and good evening, everybody. We welcome you if you're streaming us live all over the world with a big night of island headlines, and we will get to the very latest with your government's financial crisis in just a moment. But first, we lead off with the breaking news that we brought you, Brie, all over social media today. At least a dozen officers swarmed an apartment complex in Harmon Industrial Park. Investigators confirming it dealt with the drugs. Now three people are under arrest. Crystal Paco has the story. They came busting the door down. You're looking at footage of Mendania Drug Task Force, GPD SWAT, and canine units effectuating a search warrant at this second floor apartment at Sabana Condominiums in the Harmon Industrial Park. Based on the information provided, uh, pro, you know, provided uh, our detectives with the um, probable cause to execute a search warrant at the home. It all went down just after 2 p.m. Thursday. GPD spokesperson Sergeant Paul Tapao confirming the case centers around drugs. Again, it was executed and, and um, executed and signed in the uh, relative to information about possible drug activity occurring here in the condominiums. KUAM cameras and curious neighbors watched as three suspects, one male and two females, were handcuffed and escorted into unmarked police cars. This is just information that our, our, our investigators were working on and um, they saw enough probable cause again to obtain a search warrant and it was signed and the search warrant was executed with no incidents. No word yet on who these suspects are and what kinds of drugs they are alleged to be involved with. Again, this case is still developing. Um, should anything arise, I will uh, provide you guys with that information as it comes uh, available to me. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco. Also in tonight's rundown, a package hailing from South Africa prompted an evacuation of the second floor of the EVA building in Upper Tumon earlier today. Now the item, a suspicious envelope, was delivered to SPPC's corporate office. Along with the Guam Fire Department and their hazardous materials team, KWM did observe FBI officials on scene. The all clear, fortunately, was given just after 5 p.m. After weeks of special sessions and often testy public rhetoric between the administration and the legislature, the vote is finally in on a bill to address the government's financial crisis. Speaker B.J. Cruz is the final tally. Bill 248-34 LS received eight ayes, seven nays. Bill 248-34 is duly passed by the body. Breakdown of the votes. Voting yes were Senators Tom Atta, Will Castro, Speaker Cruz, Jim Espaldon, Fernando Estevez, Tommy Morrison, Louise Munoz, and Joseph Augustine. Voting no were Senators Frank Ogun Jr., Regine Bisco Lee, Talina Nelson, Dennis Rodriguez Jr., Michael San Nicholas, Therese Terlahi, and Mary Torres. The measure temporarily increases the business privilege tax from 4% to 5 through September 30th to be replaced by a 2% general sales tax on October 1st. Tax. Okay, so turned the story into I have to read, it's a comprehensive in, uh, solution coming from the legislature, which I think is the most important thing. And despite the agreements and disagreements we have in this body regarding this particular bill, I believe it presents a framework that we can all work towards to try to make it the best we can. Despite the drama of the last few weeks, we've not achieved a real shift in priorities or true accountability. The hard work must still be done. I sincerely hope that the passage of this bill will stop the fear that is being used to propel it. Governor Calvo has pledged to sign the bill, which also calls for him to submit a new fiscal realignment plan meant to slash the budget. Million cuts, and we've got to make sure that, that uh, with those 30 million in cuts, that we work towards building a more efficient government. And uh, that's where I look forward to working with our agencies and our stakeholders, uh, as well as the legislature. 
Local leaders were forced into action because of federal tax reforms that created a projected $67 million revenue shortfall for Gov Guam. Well, some of your senators are saying that legislative contracts save money because they don't require benefits to be played to employees. But it does appear that most of the legislature's contracts are benefiting senators more than they benefit the people of Guam. Chris Barnett reports. Legislative contracts have increased in the 34th Guam Legislature. Compared to the 33rd, sitting senators have doubled up on contracts. And what type of contracts are we talking about? The people of Guam footing the bill for Instagram and Facebook posts for senators' social media, website design, vague research, New Year's greeting cards, and graphic designs. Professional contracts in the 34th Legislature so far totaling $66,000 up from 35000 in the 33rd. The biggest single independent contract, accountant Edison Manoloto in 2017, handed a contract totaling $20,000 for three months of consulting services to the Office of Finance and Budget. Speaker B.J. Cruz signing off on the deal. Senator Tommy Morrison pays Prodigy Studios $12,000 to maintain his website and social media. Even though the legislature already has a website, it says provides more accessibility to the public, Senator Morrison still feels his contract with Prodigy is justified. Every individual senator has um, a way of getting their message across, and this is our way. While some senators, Senator Will Castro, Senator Regine Bisco Lee, and Senator Morrison employ independent contractors to manage their social media accounts, it's more common for senators to send staffers to events to take pictures. These pictures ending up on Instagram or Facebook. Glorified campaign propaganda promoting the false narrative that senators are everywhere doing everything helping everyone. Which begs the question, are senators really too busy to do their own social media? Senator Bisco Lee maintaining a steady presence on social media and although her staff does most of the posting, she just gave out a $3,000 contract to have someone maintain her social media during the campaign stretch. And not even a month into being a freshman senator, she handed Dreamstorm Productions $1,500 to design a New Year's greeting card, business card, stationery, and social media graphics. Senator Will Castro dominating Facebook feeds, and he's also handed out two contracts worth $7,250 for social media and web-related services. But his website hasn't been updated since January. Senator Castro also contracting out research to people with little to no professional research experience. In one instance, an education research contract given to James Petit signed on November 15, 2017. Petit's business license stamped paid November 16th. For Guam's News Network, Chris Barnett reports. Now, teens with the island-wide Board of Governing Students spent their afternoon at Adaloop speaking with Governor Calvo. They wanted reassurances that whatever would come from the government financial crisis, that the classrooms would not be affected. The island's chief executive told them that they had nothing to worry about, as on Wednesday, students made similar demands and questioned lawmakers who responded that their education is not on the chopping block. A social media post gone viral, a parent upset after her child was one of three who suddenly fell ill after the students were said to be outside in the hot sun. Now we brought you the story of course last night as everybody was talking about this on Facebook and today DOE has responded saying that their staff did nothing wrong. Carmen Chalahi has our next report. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. And we are having some technical difficulties, but we will have that story in just a moment. But we're going to go ahead and move on. Decision 2018 is upon us. Guam's youngest voter is taking a keen interest in who will be lieutenant governor. At Simon Sanchez High School, questions were asked to lieutenant governor hopefuls Alicia Limtiaco, Josh Tenorio, and Fred Berdalio. The main question on the table, after 10 years of empty promises, will they finally rebuild Simon Sanchez High? We need to make sure that we have a dedicated, the dedicated funding source that has been identified in the bill to ensure that the funding is absolutely necessary and there to move this process forward. He's made this commitment, and that is back during his administration, there wasn't too many procurement protests because the individuals who are part of this 
um, are fair, uh, give a fair and competitive uh, bid, so it won't be challenged. I fully support uh, Bill 204. I think that it's a common sense approach to empower the superintendent to make uh, decisions. The administration should give uh, full technical resources to the superintendent, uh, and, uh, finance and construction engineering uh, to go ahead and get this done, and then we stand by that decision. This question comes after years of protest by Cortec and legislative efforts to pass Bill 204 to let DOE lead the procurement process to get the GIGO campus up and running. Tony Atta and David Cruz didn't attend the forum. For more on this story, stay tuned to Decision Watch on KUAM News Weekend Edition. Sit tight, everybody. We are going to take a quick commercial break, but please stay watching and stay streaming because primetime returns after this. There are more ways to experience KUAM News than any other source on Guam. Download the KUAM News app for your Apple or Android device for 24-7 news, sports, videos, weather, streaming with KUAM radio, and important news alerts. And stay connected at home with Guam's first app for Apple TV. All available now from the App Store. Half the day, I'm in the club. Half the day, welcome to Two Lovers Point. Half the day, I'm in the club. This is Pollock, and this is Pollock, but they're totally different. One is Pollock, South Dakota, and the other is real wild-caught Alaska Pollock from a certified sustainable fishery. And that's the Pollock you'll find in the McDonald's filet of fish So, no matter where you are, you can always get real fish caught sustainably from here. So let's review. This is that one place called Pollock, this is real wild-caught Alaska Pollock, and this is who can bring it all together, sourced from a sustainable fishery. And it's delicious. We're celebrating our 135th anniversary today, both in the outlying regions on which we hub and also here in Guam itself. It means so much to our team here in Guam. It means a lot to us in the Matson management team because what it says is we're here to stay. It's a real physical manifestation of our commitment to this region. It's so important that we hire locally, we develop talent locally, we train locally. What's been a wonderful addition to our approach there is that many of the people who started off in Guam have gone off into significant leadership roles elsewhere in the company. This is our headquarters here in Guam in Micronesia. And when we talk about putting down our roots, it's not just doing business, it's about everything we do with our friends, our customers, and our employees. I believe that nobody can replicate what we do, and that's why we have such a great team and such a great service and why we're successful. This is our home, this is our life, and we're happy to make a difference in everyone else's life. In every community, there's a heartbeat, a rhythm, a collective vibration. It resonates through our villages. Our job is to connect with that heartbeat, to respond and engage, to respect our cultural institutions, but also to embrace what's new. It's our job to stay connected, to stay in touch, so no matter how you receive us and what you turn to us for, breaking news, important advisories, interesting stories, to get a good laugh, a good cry, or figure out where to eat, drink, shop, or play, we're in touch with the pulse of the community. You never have any doubt that your KUAM experience will be unmatched by any other media group on Guam or the region. 
There are more ways to experience Guam via KUAM News, giving you what you want, when you want, and how you want it. From smart devices, Alexa, what's in the news? Here's your flash briefing. Over the web, on mobile, on streaming platforms, with immersive, interactive formats, and via social media where it's more than just content, it's conversation. More ways to keep you informed and entertained whenever you want it, wherever you are, on whatever device you're using. Welcome back. Three men are now under arrest for their alleged part in a pair of robberies reported last week. 22-year-old Christopher Brian Cruz Manvusen and 23-year-old Anthony Louis Parteco Camacho are charged with second-degree robbery and conspiracy. It happened on March 6th at the 24-hour game room in Tamuni and at the mobile gas station in Jotnia. The suspects were caught on camera at both places. Late last week, police arrested 23-year-old Jeremy Dean Duenas for his alleged part in the robbery after authorities identified him through the video surveillance footage. That arrest led to investigators finding out the identity of the others involved. One man reportedly quoted the Bible as he sexually abused a former altar boy and boy scout, only identified it by his initials to protect his identity. 49-year-old J.G. alleges he was forced to perform and receive oral sex from former local priest Father Louis Brouillard. The man reports this was normal behavior for the priest who enjoyed his higher status with the church. During these sexual acts, Brouillard would tell the boy how he was one-to-one -one with God. J.G. also reports being forced to swim naked during swimming trips to Lonfit River, where he would also take pictures of the boys naked, telling them they, quote, needed to do these things in order to obtain their merit badges. J.G. is suing for $10 million and is represented by Michael Berman. Retail giant Toys R Us is closing up shop. National media report that the company will be shutting down its entire chain of 800 U.S. stores six months after declaring bankruptcy. Local management says they have not received any notice from their corporate headquarters, and the store at the Micronesia Mall continues to be open, business as usual. The store manager declined further comments and referred us to their corporate press office. No response from them yet on whether the Guam store will be impacted. we got sports coming up next. Stay tuned. how life can be when you're young, wild and free. That's why GTA hooks it up with the best phones at the best prices to keep you living life to the fullest. Get the Motorola Moto G4 for free and Alcatel A3 XL for only $49 or the Samsung Galaxy A8 for only $99 with a $50 per month unlimited talk and text plan, including five gigs of high-speed data. Visit gta.net or a store for details. Kick it up with the 2018 Payless Kick the Fat 5K Run Walk. Register online before March 15th or register at any Payless store location from March 18th to 23rd. And join us Saturday, March 24th at Paseo Stadium. Showtime at 5 a.m. with go time at 6 a.m. with fireworks at the start. First finishers get Run Guam shirts and Run Guam hats. And stick around after for a community fair and a raffle for a chance to win amazing prizes. With the grand prize of a round trip ticket to anywhere in Asia, courtesy of United. Kick it up with the 2018 Payless Kick the Fat 5K Run Walk. Hop a day, my name is Victoria Perez, council member for the Guam Developmental Disabilities Council. March 2018 is Developmental Disabilities Awareness Month. This year's theme is embracing diverse communities together. Help us celebrate and spread awareness by promoting equal opportunity for people with developmental disabilities. For more information, please call 735-9127 or 8. Be happy the awareness month! We are Coors Light. Born in the mountains. Lagered, filtered, and packaged cold. For a clean, crisp taste. Coors Light. The world's most refreshing beer. KUAM Sports is presented by Triple J. What's up, Guam? Dave Delgado here for KUAM Sports. Thanks for watching. The Payless Kick the Fat 5K is scheduled for next Saturday at Chamorro Village. Tonight on the show, I have some information you need to know about registration and chip timing. Check it out.
The 22nd annual Payless Kick the Fat 5K takes place at the Chamorro Village next Saturday, March 24th. Showtime is at 5 a.m. Go time is set for 6. There will be tons of raffle prizes, round-trip ticket giveaway, $1,000 cash, $500 to the school with the largest participation, and reusable ditty bags. First 3,500 finishers get a Run Guam shirt, and the first 100 male and female finishers get a Run Guam hat. Just a reminder, today is the last day to register for chip timing. Um, you can do that at www.paylessfoundation.com, and you have to do that before 12 midnight tonight. Um, or if you can't do that, you can go into our stores. We sell coupons. You can use the coupon code, and we have little kiosks at the front, so you can ask our service uh, reps to assist you with that as well. If you don't catch that today, you can actually come to our mandatory packet pickup, and that's this Saturday from 10 to 7, and that's at the Citibank location in East Agania, the former Citibank. It's Trans Pacific Brokers now. Special Olympics Guam 42nd Annual Track and Field Event is this Saturday at Ukudu High School. The gate will be open to the public at 5.30 in the morning. Events lined up for the athletes include running and standing long jump, softball throw, shot put, 50 and 100 meter walk run event, 10 and 25 meter assisted walk, 10, 25, 50 meter wheelchair race, and wheelchair slalom. Opening ceremonies is set for 8 in the morning. We'd like athletes to be at uh, the field by 6.30 in the morning. Um, the, the parents will be able to drop their athlete um, at the field and get them to their canopy. We line up for uh, the parade of athletes at 7.30, so we want to make sure everybody's there, have, have all their credentials and their bibs and everything on time. The field events will get the morning started following the traditional law enforcement torch run. The run starts at Big Navy and ends at the Ukudu campus with the athletes making a final lap around the track before lighting the cauldron. Island Twisters Gymnastics sent four gymnasts to compete in the magical classic competition that was held at the Orange County Convention Center in Orlando, Florida. The event hosted about 2,500 gymnasts ranging from gymnastics levels 1 to 10. Over 90 gymnastics club from all over the U.S. as well as foreign teams also participated in the event. Ten-year-old Ariana Balagat, level 5 gymnast, placed second all around. Phaedra Redman, 11-year-old level 5 gymnast, placed fourth overall. Maria Calvo, also level 5 gymnast, 12 years old, placed fourth all around. And Cadence Montgomery, Guam's only level 9 gymnast, placed ninth overall. The University of Guam's Triton Athletics will be hosting the 2018 Boys High School All-Star Game tomorrow at the UOG Cowboy Fieldhouse. Tip-off is scheduled for 7 p.m., the two teams stepping onto the court are based on the AAAG Boys High School Basketball All-Island Team selections. The first and second team All-Island players are the starters for the game, and the honorable mention players are the reserves. Admission to the All-Star Game is $5 for adults and $3 for students and seniors. Kids 5 and under are free. Gates open at 6 p.m. on game day. Well, that's going to do it for sports. We're back right after this.
We should get this. With FHB's complete checking debit card, you get cell phone and ID theft With protection. FHB's complete checking it's Marcus. Debit card, you get cell phone and ID theft protection, plus credit monitoring. Hon, we should get this. It all starts with yes. I just said that. What? No, yeah. I... Marcus just said that. Open a complete checking account with debit card to get cell phone and ID theft protection plus credit monitoring. First Hawaiian Bank, it all starts with yes. Guam is more than a tiny island in the Pacific. This magical place is where I call home. This island inspires me to learn and explore what's around me. teaches me that there are no shortcuts in life and that the long way home may just be the scenic route. And that even the dirt roads can lead you to beautiful destinations. Here are tonight's Cold Stone Creamery Birthday Club recipients. Starting off with David Rafael Blas Beneventi. This comes from Mom, Dad, Talon, Trey, Brielle, and all of your brothers and sisters. Happy birthday to Brooklyn Larry. Happy birthday to this very young man. This is Daryl Villagomez. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to Ke Kekoa Pierre and Sayani Mackay. Happy birthday to Trisha Rosalind. This is coming from Daddy and the Boys. We love you, they say. And happy birthday going out to Austin Pasquale. And we got a member of our family who celebrates a birthday. There is that young spry gentleman. This is Michael Camacho who has a birthday today. Happy birthday to Anna Cooper. And happy birthday to David Sulio. You too can be part of the Cold Stone Creamery Birthday Club, as is a late entry, my good friend Shalyn Allen. She is one of the awesome realtors we have here on the island. Mm -hmm. So Shalyn and our kids are watching right now. Hello and happy birthday, Shalyn. And that is going to do it for us here on Primetime, but stay tuned for our very first on-location edition of In the Mix. Nice. Closed captioning is brought to you by IT&E. <laughs> In the Mix is presented by California Pizza Kitchen. Visit them today at the Holiday Resort Hotel. Hi, good everybody. I'm Sabrina Salas Mattiani, and welcome to our first ever live on location in the Mix. We are here at the Pacific Islands Club Resort in Tumon talking about the United Airlines Guam Marathon. We'll bring in my co host in just a minute, but first I'd like to say hi to all of you for being Hoffa with day. us. Hi, day. And say hi, day to our Facebook live digital manager, Kenson Nicholas. And also we'd like to say hafadeh to our dignitaries that are with us today. Lieutenant Governor Ray Tenorio, thank you for being with us. <laughs> the Island Beautification Task Force Representative Lakeisha Pareto. <laughs> and to our GVB Gold Sponsors, Nathan DeKnight. He is the President and CEO of the Guam Bureau. <laughs> Pilar Lujan, Director of Markets also from GBV. <laughs> Craig Camacho from Destinations as Sports and Events. <laughs> and of course, from PIC, the general manager Ben Ferguson. <laughs> and United Airlines Paula Monk, who's with us today. Half a day, everyone. And Guam Sports and Events Board of Director Mike Pangalinen. 
And now please welcome my co-host, Mr. Ben Ferguson. He is the founder and director of UGM. Ben. Mm. Woo -hoo. Thanks, Sabrina. Thanks for joining us. Nice to see you. Now, the marathon, it has grown over the past several years. This is the sixth month. Talk about how it has grown. Well, you know, we're very proud of the growth. In year one, we did about 1,500 runners. Last year, we went over 4,000 runners. We did 4,300 runners. Uh, what's really cool, though, is that half of those runners came from off-island. Uh, so it really, truly is an international event. Uh, if all goes well, we'll do the same thing this year. We'll, we'll break the 4,000 mark. Awesome. And let's talk about what people can expect. Well, you know, this year's event uh, is special for us, not only because it's the second year of the United Airlines uh, sponsorship, uh, but we've got some really cool things that we're going to talk about today. That's right, Dan. When we talk about the marathon, though, it's not just a marathon. It's more than that. There's several races, races uh, for anybody. Indeed. And, I, and, and despite the name that we have, the United Airlines Guam Marathon, it is a 5K, a 10K, a half marathon, and a marathon. So there really is a race for all. So if you haven't registered for the event, please come out and register for the event. Run the 5K. Walk the 5K. 10K or the half. Or the 10K or the half. You could walk the half marathon. I'm, well, I plan on right? walking the, the five, 5K. Yeah. Well, um, it takes a lot of planning and coordination, teamwork. Talk about that. Yeah, so the event is supported by over 600 volunteers on race day. So you can imagine how many people are out there supporting the event. What's really cool, though, is that we've got all of our great community partners supporting the event, the police department, the fire department, the USO many other organizations that come out, our sponsors come out that do aid stations, and then of course PIC contributes heavily to the event in terms of providing manpower to ensure a successful event for all. Well, speaking of partners, a big partnership in the marathon is United Airlines. Please welcome now to the stage Paula Monk. She is the Senior Sales Manager for United Airlines. Long and happy Coffee day, Sabrina. Coffee day. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Well, this was a natural decision with the UGM. Tell us how this partnership began. Absolutely. So it is natural for us to actually partner with Ben and the team. Um, with, you know, as Guam's hometown airline, we're committed to really just uh, giving back to the community and, grow and helping Guam's economy as well. So we're very excited about the marathon. Well, talk about how you guys have uh, aggressively been promoting uh, UGM overseas. Well, actually, so this is not just a local commitment, right, Bree? It's actually a global effort. Um, we've got teams in Japan, Korea, and China, and the U.S. Um, we actually have been promoting the event on our Hemisphere magazine, which is featured in all of our aircrafts and all of our flights. Um, and then to top it off, we have the United Airlines Guam uh, video, uh, Guam Marathon video that's featured on all of our inbound flights into Guam. So we're very excited to promote the event and to promote Guam. But you guys don't just promote the event. You guys are completely hands-on. Yeah. Actually, on behalf of our 900 co-workers on, on Guam, United will be celebrating 50 years of service between Guam and Micronesia, and we're very excited about that. With that, we will be having a water aid station. It's going to be located at JFK Hill. That's right. It's a bit of a change for us, but we're very excited. We're going to be the first touch point and the last touch point for runners. So right. we're very excited to um, cheer the runners on, both international and local runners. Right. And, and it's important to note that this isn't just a race. It's, it's a, a race that gives back to the community. Yeah, that's right. I mean, it's really, it's, as you said, it's not just a race. It's an event. It kicks off with the expo and then we have the event, and then we have this great party after the right. event. Uh, what's really cool for us, though, is that it gives our island residents a tremendous opportunity to interact with international visitors. Uh, and that really doesn't happen very often. You know, we have folks that come and spend a lot of time here in Tumon, but having an event where we can have our international visitors together with our runner, our local runners, is really special to us. And United Airlines has been such a big part of that. So thanks for all of that, Paula. Very welcome. You know, it's a run in paradise, and we're excited uh, with the Hoppa Day Expo. And then, of course, seeing all of you guys at, on race day on April 8th. So congratulations. Come on. If you haven't registered. Did I say that already? If you haven't registered, <laughs> register now right. online. All right. Well, we're going to have more to talk about with UGM. So stay tuned. Our live episode of In the Mix continues after the break. Join the most excellent of egg hunts at Chuck E. Cheese's Guam on Tuesday, March 27th from 3 to 7 p.m. Pre-register for the right age group in one of the four egg hunts per hour. Call 647-4544 or stop in the restaurant and sign up at Chuck E. Cheese's Guam.
A beautiful, healthy smile is an expression of confidence. The more confident you are about your smile, the more likely you are to fully express your feelings without having to worry about the way your teeth look. Before cosmetic dentistry, I didn't smile as much. I didn't have the confidence, and it shows. And since I've had cosmetic dentistry done, I feel 10 times more confident. I make my initial introduction with a nice big smile and a handshake, and I just you know, feel like it really is a relationship builder, a nice warm smile, and it makes the clients and customers feel more comfortable with you feeling confident, and they feel that you're not just there for business, that you're also there kind of as a friend as well. So, I mean, it's amazing how powerful a smile can be. A good smile. <laughs> Since your smile makes a significant impression on those around you, it is important that it makes the impression you want it to make. Cars Plus and Mighty has the trucks. During Ram Truck Month, save up to ninety-seven fifty on new Ram trucks. Cars Plus has a great selection of 2018 Ram trucks. Plus, shop our remaining 2017 Ram 1500s. Voted Guam's best truck two years in a row. The Ram truck comes with a five-year, 60,000-mile powertrain warranty. And with 1.99 APR financing for qualified buyers, there's no better time to buy than now. It's Ram Truck Month, and only Cars Plus and Mighty has the trucks. Cars Plus, driven by you. In every community, there's a heartbeat, a rhythm, a collective vibration. It resonates through our villages. Our job is to connect with that heartbeat, to respond and engage, to respect our cultural institutions, but also to embrace what's new. It's our job to stay connected, to stay in touch, so no matter how you receive us and what you turn to us for, breaking news, important advisories, interesting stories, to get a good laugh, a good cry, or figure out where to eat, drink, shop, or play, we're in touch with the pulse of the community. You never have any doubt that your KUAM experience will be unmatched by any other media group on Guam or the region. Presented by California Pizza Kitchen. Visit them today at the Holiday Resort Hotel. Hi, everybody. I'm Sabrina Salas Matanani. Welcome back to our live on location edition of In the Mix with my co host Ben Ferguson from UGM. He's the race director. And we are talking about the upcoming race scheduled for Sunday, April.